Hi, Bill Rogers back at you. And bringing you one of uh, my booth mates. Um, I've been sharing the booth with the Green Alliance and Scott Zeitcher, right? That's correct. So, Scott, I mean, I know, but tell everybody else, what's the Green Alliance and what brings you here to Nessie? Sure. The Green Alliance is a union of about 90 businesses in southern New Hampshire, southern Maine, and northern Massachusetts. And our, our clients are those businesses like yourself, Bill, with Now or Never Media, that have integrated sustainability into their operations in one way or another. And what we seek to do is not only promote those businesses through getting content published about them in various uh, media outlets, but also connect them with the citizens and you know the larger community because we also sell something known as green cards, which gives the gives people the opportunity of becoming members themselves of the Green Alliance and therefore getting discounts at these green businesses. So we are connecting green businesses with the eco-conscious community in eastern New England. That's great. And one of the things that I've uh, mentioned to folks, is I think it's an important part, an important aspect of the Green Alliance is that sort of union of consumer and business. Is that a conscious decision on part of the Green Alliance? A absolutely, because what we feel is that there's a lot of businesses out there that may want to go green. I mean, that could be investments in waste management or water conservation or energy efficiency, but unfortunately in many aspects of our society that's viewed as a cost center rather than a profit center. The mission of the Green Alliance seeks to essentially reward businesses for their investments in, you know, by minimizing their impact, reward them by sending, by driving business right to their doorstep, so that so to help them compete on their and differentiate themselves based on their green bona fides, rather than having of them think of it as simply yet another expense. Mm -hmm. So what's ahead for uh, the Green Alliance? Sort of moving out of moving out of Nessie, but not not today, tomorrow, but over the next year. Over the next year, uh, number one, we'd like to be doing more in Massachusetts. Our core market right now is the New Hampshire seacoast and southern Maine. Uh, right now we have one business in northern Massachusetts, but we'd, we would definitely like to expand on that and do more in the Merrimack Valley region, including but not limited to the Newburyport area and perhaps even in, in the north shore of Massachusetts, um, as well as the fact that as far as the types of businesses that we represent. The great thing about the Green Alliance is that it cuts across industry verticals. So it can be everyday consumables such as uh, food and restaurants and, and salons and apparel stores, but we, we also have, speaking of the Nessia Building Energy Show, we also have an outstanding stable of solar installers and energy auditors and geothermal people, people that are dealing with energy efficiency, but we are now starting to broaden our scope and reaching what might be considered more white collar businesses. For instance, Bill, we've just recently signed on a terrific local insurance agency out of Portsmouth. We've, we have brought on the uh, Kennebunk Savings Bank. We are soon to be bringing on a socially responsible investment firm that is actually exhibiting at this show. So what we want is that with almost every facets of, of one's daily life and, and the, the types of consumables that, you know, that they have. We'd like to be able to be competing in those industry verticals so that whatever decisions you make as a consumer and as a citizen, that there is a, so that there is a green option for you, hopefully, that is represented within the Green Alliance. Very good, very good. Um, well, you know, quick quick conversation today, but uh, longer conversation, and, and one of the things I just wanted to mention is that uh, what's been really good for me as a business partner and our organization as a business partner has been that that blend of different organizations, and uh, I think that, that, that helps for the, the networking and uh, makes for a real vital organization. It's a, the Green Alliance is a great business-to-business -business networking tool uh, for businesses like y yourself. You're meeting other business owners who, all things being equal, are probably going to choose to do business with someone, you know, a media company like yours that knows, shares their values, operates responsibly, and is also going to be able to leverage the same discount that is available to consumers. So it's really a win-win situation. So in addition for businesses looking to, you know, should they join the Green Alliance, in addition to the fact that 
we expand and, and uh, help them with their, their branding and help raise awareness about them within the community and therefore drive customers to their door, it's a great opportunity to network in a very positive environment with, with other green business leaders around the region. Yeah, and uh, and you know specifically for us, it's it's Earth Tech, it's the solar store, the Sea Solar Store, it's Ridgeview Construction, it's Revision, all of whom have become sponsors of, of our show, which came as a result of our affiliation with the with the Green Alliance, which is great, win win. And given the importance of, of video these days as a medium with all of the businesses in the Green Alliance, or even those that that, that we approach, we would like them to say, look. You're going to need to do some amount of video as part of your business marketing strategy. Why not do it with Bill Rogers of Now or Never Media? We can give you know we can personally refer you to them because you know, you're you're an honest, sound businessman who also shares their value. Why bother you know doing? Why bother having your fingers do the walking in the yellow pages when we can send send someone to you who's essentially pre-qualified. Mm -hmm. And one other was uh, Peterson Engineering, whom we did, uh, you know, and one of the things that's been very nice is to have this cooperative in terms of us putting videos up that can serve uh, the public to know about businesses involved with the Green Alliance and also these very cool things that are happening. You know, Peterson did a renovation of their uh, of their office, decided to move in town as opposed to moving to a, a newer building, and they renovated a historic, historic uh, uh, building. And it's a, it's a very cool story. Yeah, e even for a firm like Peterson Engineering, which is operates in the business to business space, business to business space largely, rather than business to consumer, the advantage to them is that when people are making purchasing decisions as far as their supply chain goes, studies have shown that getting a referral from someone you trust is more important than slick marketing literature and something like that. So. Our ability to promote Peterson Engineering's, you know, great, great works and deeds and their reputation to other bu business leaders is going to produce a much more effective return on investment than a random ad in a trade journal. Great. Well, Scott, uh, thanks for thanks for talking. Thanks for sharing the space, and uh, thanks for the Green Alliance. Bill, thank you so much. It's uh, you know, uh, it's it's always a pleasure to you know be here with you. You're one of the best uh, video guys out there, and we hope to continue working with you for years to come. Thanks, Scott. My pleasure.